built by Navistar. CATS vocational class 8 series CT600 line of trucks. Temporarily diversified Caterpillar's line of products. Allowing CAT to have a line of on-highway trucks and the ability to compete with the other makers of on-highway trucks. From 2011 to 2016, these trucks were available at CAT dealers. Built by Navistar and powered by CAT's 11 liter CT11 or 13 liter CT13 diesel engines, these trucks were powerful and dependable. CT660s were sold and serviced by CAT dealers until 2016. CAT discontinued the CT660 vocational line of on-highway trucks because they felt, quote, remaining a viable competitor in this market would require significant additional investment to develop and launch a complete portfolio of trucks. And upon an updated review, we determined there was not a significant market opportunity to justify the investment, said Ramin Younesi, the Vice President of Caterpillar's Industrial Power Systems Division. Instead, Caterpillar will remain in the off-road trucks where they have been quite successful. Hi, I'm Logan, the 64th Gear Jammer Skill, and this is Toy Talk. I'm standing out here at the local cement batch plant where I'm going to talk about the McNeilis Company and their history in the ready mix industry. It will end with a review of Diecast Masters 164 scale CAT CT660 vocational truck platform with McNeilis Bridgemaster concrete mixer. Psst. Guys, I sell these 64 scale models over on my website, diecastmastersconstruction.com. And there's a link to buy these very affordable trucks in the description below. Also, while you're at it, go on and subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on all the best diecast cars, trucks, farm, and construction equipment for your collection. Created by Garwin and his brother Dennis McNeilis on July 21st, 1970, and later sold to the Oshkosh Corporation in 1998. McNeilis started out to make concrete mixing and handling easier. By 1973, their first batch stationary plant was built, securing their place in the concrete industry. In 1976, McNeilis introduced their first concrete mixer, changing the industry with a far superior ready mix unit. 1978 comes along and with it a revolutionary development in concrete mixing when McNeilis introduced the Viking front discharge mixer. There have been front discharge mixers before this, but none had been very successful. This mixer allowed the driver to easily see where he was going and allowed him to easily drop his load. 1979 brings out the Bridgemaster 1 mixer. The Bridgemaster gave a better weight distribution for a standard rear discharge mixer truck. By adding a fold down rear axle that extends the length of the truck to spread the weight over the entire Federal Bridge formula length. By 1980, just four years after building their first concrete mixer, McNeilis becomes the most popular concrete mixer brand in America, thus making them the ready mix industry leader. 1984 begins a partnership with Oshkosh that would eventually end with the sale of the entire company. Oshkosh 
contracts McNeilis to build front discharge mixers under the Oshkosh brand. By 1989, McNeilis had the ready mix line well in hand, but needed another product line to offset the very seasonal nature of the concrete business. So they introduced their first rear load garbage truck prototype. Having pretty much perfected the concrete mixers, McNeilis takes the 1990s to focus on new innovations in the refuse collection industry. By 1997, Oshkosh had begun to acquire McNeilis and in 1998 finalized the purchase and integration into the Oshkosh family of brands. The McNeilis brand is still committed to improvements and new innovations with the vast resources of Oshkosh to continue the developments. Included in these developments was the Bridgemaster 5 mixer in 2000, the M80 series concrete mixer drum in 2014, and a new mixer controls platform in 2016. Who knows what the future holds for McNeilis ready mixers, but to be sure they will continue to lead the industry in innovations and technology to make mixing and delivery of concrete easier for both the driver and the contractor on the job site. Now let's head over to a job site and talk about the Diecast Masters CAT CT660 with McNeilis Bridgemaster Concrete Mixer Truck in 64th scale. And here we go guys, this is the CT660 Class 8 Vocational Series Truck Cabin Chassis by Caterpillar with a McNeilis Bridgemaster Mixer Unit on it. It is in cat yellow with a cat yellow drum white fenders, and other white parts to the mixer unit. It comes in Diecast Masters box. It's 164 scale, and it is diecast metal. Item number is 85632. Now, let me go on and get it out so we can really look at this truck up close. And there it is, out of the box. It also comes with two extra little chute pieces, so you can hang onto the back right there. They're two individual pieces, and then they can add them on if you want. Set that aside. Now let's pick up the truck. It does have some plastic parts on it. It's not 100% die cast, but no die cast model that I know of is 100% die cast. The drum is die cast. The mounts for the are die cast, and the cab and the frame is die cast. The wheels are plastic with soft rubber tires. They didn't chrome plate the wheels on this one, but that's all right. It has a ladder here. It has a water tank for washout, and then it has its fenders with mud flap on the front and on the back. Up a little closer here, you can see it has cat in the air intake. There's the cat logo, door handle, exhaust stack with the muffler, and it has a decal for the heat shield on the muffler. There's a fuel tank. Step here. And then you can see the 10 hole wheels, soft rubber tires, marker light, and you can see the big fenders here, which are painted in a matte black because on the real one, they're actually a rubber material. Now, pulling them forward a little more, there's the water tank, another tank, there's the motor that turns the drum, the mount, fenders, ladder so you can climb up and check inside the chute. There is the bridge master wheel in the up position. It does fold all the way down to where it would be while it's on the ground. Just like that so that you could have that wheel down and have the truck in a, a bridge formula legal for your weight. The rear chute sections can be attached to it and this does rotate which is a really nice thing so you can rotate the chute. In order to raise and lower the axle, you gotta do that. You gotta put it in the middle so that the thing will, axle will go up and then you can turn that around it. Real easy. Now, around to the front. It has the big cat logo right in the center of the grill. 
a great, great rendition of the grill with the metal surround painted in silver. It's not chrome plated. The bumper is also painted in silver. The headlights are just little silver tampos. They didn't put individual jewels for headlights, driving lights, or turn signals. And then they painted the turn signals orange. The windshield is a nice hard plastic. And I don't know if it'll focus on it. But it does have the cat logo on the back of both high back seats on the interior and it has a dashboard and a steering wheel. That's all for the interior. There's a silver painted up here, silver painted visor with the five roof clearance lights. Then all the way up on the roof, it has molded in but not painted air horns. A real nice touch would be to paint those silver. Wouldn't be too hard for a skilled modeler. Also, it has two hard ABS plastic mirrors and then they put an orange piece for the turn signal reflector that goes on the outside of each mirror. Really cool. Around on the passenger side here, back up just a little. Around here you see very much the same, only over here you see the battery box and the air tanks. The fuel tank is a little bit smaller and it's got steps there, door handle, cat logo, fenders, mud flaps, it rides on, floats up front, duels on the rear drive two axles, and then it has singles on the lift axle here, the pusher axle, and singles on the bridge axle on the back. You can see the other side of the hydraulic motor that turns the drum. You can see the water tank and then the other air tank. Now I'll set him down just so I can show you that the drum turns. You can see how it's rotating right there really really cool that is a die cast metal drum then they painted it cat yellow looks like it's made in two pieces and put together right there it's also hollow guys so you could put stuff inside now we'll go around to the back here and there we go it has its three roof clearance lights up there in red brake lights and brake lights on the fenders as well. It has the ICC uh, MC, the bumper on the back, and then their DOT striping isn't quite right because there's no white in it. They just did a black, uh, black bumper with red dots on it. So it's not quite right, but close enough. And then you got the cat logo on each mud flap. Really cool. They just painted them white cat logo right there. You can see the chute, and then you can also see where the mix would come out, land on the chute, and come down. And you can see how that axle just folds right down. Also, if you look close, you can see that it is actually hollow into the drum. And way in there, how they're holding the drum together, there's a screw on the inside. Pretty cool. Probably can't see that from here, but it's in there. Turn him up this way. And then you can see how the loading chute dumps right into that hopper. Then the unloading will dump it into the unloading chute. Then that just folds up for transport mode when you're empty. Because there's no need for that when you don't have the extra weight. Or if you're running a light mix load. You just leave that up to save wear and tear on the truck. Now we'll slip underneath. And there we go. You can see the nice tread pattern on each tire, the floats up front, duels on the drive two axles, and single on the pusher. There's an air tank there, a semblance of the uh, drive shafts cast into the bottom of the frame, and a semblance of suspension system there. Not the greatest, but it's there. And then it's a little bit of bottom of the engine detail. Now there is no steering on this truck. But for the price point, I would not complain one bit. You don't get steering or opening hood or opening doors for this cheap a model. But it is a very nice model for the price. And up top, you can again see the top of the water tank has the fill over here. And then the other part's really cool. Now I'm going to go on and set him up here and put this extra sets of chutes on.
they just kind of clip in place there we go then we've got the truck sitting here out at the bird's eye frozen foods plant where they're going to work on upgrading one of the docks because they had some problems with the concrete and that my friends is the caterpillar ct660 a class 8 vocational series truck from caterpillar sold as a cab chassis and a mcneilis bridge master cement mixer barrel on the back it is an all die cast model with a few plastic parts and it is in 164 scale perfect for our layouts and a truck that we all need in our collection and here it is in transport mode with a full 11 cubic yards of concrete in the mixer drum so this is what it would look like going down the road using that bridge axle now we'll head on back to the bats plant and finish out the video is there any better choice of a ready mix truck than a Caterpillar with McNeilis Mixer? I have added one of these great Diecast Masters pieces to my collection and I suggest you do the same for yours. At the price point, it's very hard to pass up any of the Diecast Masters pieces. I sell the entire 64th line from Diecast Masters on my website diecastmastersconstruction.com and there is a link to this truck and another link to the rest of the diecast masters 64th construction pieces in the description below while supplies last also i've got a link to download the entire diecast masters 2020 catalog of products thanks for watching everyone please smash that like button to help me out with the YouTube algorithm, share this video with your followers, drop your comments below, and subscribe for more great videos on diecast replicas and the real machines. I'm Logan, the 64th Gear Jammer Skill, and I'll be back soon with another episode of Toy Talk. Built by Navistar, cats. Built by Navistar, Cat's vocational Class 8 series CT600 line of trucks, temporarily diversified Caterpillar's line of products, allowing Cat to have a line of on-highway trucks and the ability 